thing that a lot of people have issues with is uh, being able to control your distance or what people call knowing your yardages. So as far as this tutorial is concerned, I want, I've always been a, a strong proponent of starting close range and working way, your way out. So 50, 75, 100 yards tops. You grab whatever club it is that you want to learn with, seven iron, pitch a wedge, doesn't matter, and you want to take full swings. Now a full swing is probably going to stop about this high up, and when you come back down, that's at the six o'clock position, that's the full swing. So you want to determine where a half swing is, and then you want to determine where a one quarter swing is, or 25% or 50%, whatever, however, however it registers in your mind best. Because this is what you're going to be using when you're on a golf course. 50%, 75%, 100%. And so once you determine where 50% feels to you, that's what you want to imitate. You want to hit 12 balls, 10 to 12 balls, with a 50% swing in a general direction. Your concern isn't so much of your aim at this point. It, your concern is 50%. You don't want to go 60. You don't want to go 40. You want to do 50 if you're doing 75, you don't want to do 90, you don't want to do 65, you want to do 75. You want to groove that feeling, you want to feel where that club stops at, and that is what you're going to determine as 75%, and you hit 12 balls. Now when you hit 12 balls, there's going to be a cluster out there in the field. That cluster, there's going to be some balls that are further, and there's going to be some balls that are shorter. You want to go to the center of that, you want to stand right in the middle of it. You want to look at all the balls, and you want to stand right in the middle of it, and from that point, you walk and count your steps back to where you hit the balls from. This is very important that you do it in this order. A lot of people will go out and they'll try to work on 50-yard shots or they'll try to work on 100-yard shots. And then when they get on the golf course, they can't imitate it. That's because they didn't... You have to learn what your body tells you and then coordinate that with the yardages. If you do it the other way around, then you'll be fighting yourself. If you do it the way I'm telling you, it'll come naturally to hit those distances because you already know it. You know what 50% is. So once you walk back to the tee, or the tee box or wherever it was that you started from and you've counted your paces, now you know that that shot was 55, you know, 55, whatever the yardage is. Then you want to put a target out there, an actual target. Now you're going to try to hit that target with the 50% swing that you just got finished grooving with 12 swings. But now, instead of hitting 12 shots, you want to hit three. Three, because this is just like, in a, just like in school when you're taking a test. You study, and then you take the test. So you practice, and then you take the test. You hitting those 12 shots was practicing, and you hitting these three shots is the test. Now, theoretically, you're going to hit in really close to that general area because if you, if you follow the 50%, if you find that place that you already were comfortable with, You'll hit those shots, and if you're aiming, you might hit the bucket a couple of times. It might go in all three times, but the point is, remember that yardage. Remember that yardage for that club and for that swing. Moving forward, go through your whole set, all your clubs. I even know what my driver goes, 50% swing. I know what my, my pitching wedge goes, 50% swing. I have it all written down or memorized in my mind so that when I'm on a, whenever I'm on a golf course, and I use my range finder, or I look at the yardage stick, you know, and I look up there and I see how far it is to the hole. I know without a doubt, I don't have to fight, I don't have to fight anything, I don't have to force anything. I know without a doubt what swing, what club will give me that distance. Now there is gonna be things that that you have to calculate later on in real, you know, in a real life situation, wind or if it's uphill or um, you know, what kind of lie you have, things of that nature. But as far as as far as knowing your yardages, as far as being able to, to actually handle the golf course on your terms, this, that's, that's how you do it. So after I've hit the initial 10 balls, or nine balls, I set the target and I'm walking back up here and I just hit three more shots. And the idea is for me to see uh, how close those three shots are in comparison to uh, the target that I put down. And just like I was hoping, here are the three new shots that I just hit. Um, and here are the other ones. 
So it's safe to assume that that distance of a or that amount of a backswing and that amount of a follow through produced a 55 yard shot for me.